What's up guys, Dogs Life here. I wanted to bring you some more Battlefield 4 TDM gameplay. This time we're going to be playing on Lumfini Garden from the Dragon's Teeth DLC. I realize Dragon's Teeth has been out for a while now, but I'm trying to bring some good rounds of Team Deathmatch that are entertaining to watch. And as many of you may know from playing Battlefield 4 since its release, that not all the maps in this game are really that great for Team Deathmatch. I mean, some of them, it's, you know, you're running around for three, four minutes between kills looking for somebody. You're checking your mini-map, you don't see anybody. And nobody wants to watch, like, somebody playing Team Deathmatch get 10 kills or 15 kills or whatever it is. So this particular match, I honestly don't remember the final score. We'll see at the end of the video. But I think I go, like, 28-plus in a uh, pretty good round. I'm using the Scar H. I get right to it right at the beginning here. I spot a couple guys. And I'm basically going to post up right at this crate for a good little bit. I know that at the beginning of the round, they're all spawning on the other side of this crate. So nobody's going to be behind me I'm trying to section off where I'm vulnerable to the enemy on other parts of the map. So I see a couple guys here taking a couple shots. I think I've got one or two kills so far. I'm just warming up. I don't want to go too crazy yet and uh, just trying to stack up some kills stay in my little yellow crate here peek take a couple shots get a couple kills go back in throw a health pack down heal this fucker runs right up on me he had enough of it i probably killed him once or twice and he knew exactly where i was right revenge kill if you camp for too long they're obviously going to know where you're where you are so no problem i'm going to spawn back in i'm up on this bridge with some of my other teammates and not a good place. Not where I want to be shooting a Scar H from halfway across the map. We're taking some fire from whatever. I don't know, you calves or mortars or what. But we need to get the hell out of here. So I'm going to revive this guy. I thought I had a health back down. I didn't. So I put one down. Get some health. And Geronimo, here we go. Into the crate. And now I'm peeking. Okay, so I'm checking my corners. I don't want to just run out there. I see a guy right there take him out so with the scar h if many of you have tried it or not i mean i like this gun on maps like this where i've got pretty good line of sight in wide open areas i'm going to be taking shots at probably two three hundred meters or yards or whatever you want to measure it in and, you know i'm not running through hallways with close quarters in something like that situation i'm going to take something that's got a much higher rate of fire and easier to control, less recoil, maybe put a suppressor on it, stay off the mini-map. On this, you know, they can spot me first, I don't care. If I'm this far away, a lot of these guys might miss their first shot, at which point I know where they are. I'm going to put that orange Dorito right on top of their head, and then I'm going to take it off. So here's this guy. He's trying to run from me. I'm trying to get one more bullet into him, and I run out of ammo. Or at least I run out of that magazine, so I switch to the Deagle. I don't use the Deagle that much. I used it a lot when the game, when this uh, expansion pack first came out, Dragon's Teeth, and I loved it. I mean, I absolutely loved it. I was shooting people, two-shotting people with the Deagle from freaking 100 yards away. It was awesome. And then I know they patched it a little bit, and I don't know if that ruined it for me or if I just stopped using it so I'm not as proficient with it anymore. But this particular round, you'll see I don't use it very much unless I have to. I don't even think I get a kill with it. Maybe I plug one or two guys. That's about it. But it's not really my favorite anymore. I usually tend to to use the 226, believe it or not. I can tap fire that thing so fast. I got so many rounds in it. And most of the time when I'm pulling my secondary, it's because they're already a little bit halfway down on health. And I'm just trying to finish the job. Or I'm trying to finish off his buddy that's got his back turned to me or something like that. So I get sniped by Ghost Sniper 323. I'm going to call his name out. There he is right there. You see him on the kill feed, right? So this is where this begins. I don't know why. I don't know why it pissed me off so bad. I'm just on TDM. I'm running and gunning, and this freaking guy is up here sniping me. I'm like, come on, dude. If you want to snipe, go play some Conquest. I'm a hell of a sniper, but I don't snipe a whole lot in Team Deathmatch. It's just not really where you go to do that you know so i'm pissed at this guy i'm like i'm gonna go hunt this fucker down i'm gonna go up these stairs i'm gonna find him i'm gonna take him out in some embarrassing way if i can especially since i'm recording this right now guess what there he is 
takes me out again. Crouches me with the compact 45. He's loving it. And he goes right back up to his little camping spot and jumps down. So now I'm, I'm boiling. I'm like, this dude, two times in a row, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. So I go around the back. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sneak all the way in the back. I know they're spawning. I can see him on the minimap. There's one guy. Boom, boom. There's his buddy. Boom, boom. One more right there. See, he just shot at me with the DMR. Boop, 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 boop. Dead. There's three real quick. Put some med packs down. I just saw another one spawn. I think a lot of these guys are the same guys I just killed, so they know I'm over there. That's the thing with Team Deathmatch on a map like this. You kill four or five guys and you don't move too much, so they're going to know you're there. Sometimes I rely on that. You know what? You know I'm here? Come get me. I just took you out two, three times. That just means I'm going to get more kills because they're all going to come to that area of the map. So sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Now I see a couple of my teammates go down inside that building. I head glitch that guy. Headshot on him. Is that Ghost Sniper 323? I think it is. I'm getting a little excited. I get the assist so I can't tell if it's him that died. I don't get the kill feed. Or at least I didn't see it up in the right hand corner. Maybe you guys did. But I'm pretty sure it was him. So we're still looking for him. There's a little deagle action. I get two shots. I miss. He takes him out. Not that great with the deagle guys. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are a lot better than me. So in a moment here, I'm going to kind of assess my situation. I got nine bullets left. I don't know if you noticed that. So I need some ammo or I need another primer. Here's my candidate. Here's his gun. I get it. I think I get a couple shots off and somebody takes me out. Let's see. Kit switching is fine. I don't even know what the hell this gun is. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy using? Is this a CZ-805? Doesn't matter. They take me out. 13 and 5 right now. You can see Ghost Sniper was like 15 and 2. So we're neck and neck the whole match. When I play TDM, I'm going for first place. If I don't get first place, no problem. I'm probably not going to put it on YouTube, you know. There's guys that are better than me. <clears throat> Excuse me. They get, you know, 30, 40 kills, maybe two deaths. I have some rounds like that, but not quite as often. Battlefield 3, I would go 46 and 2. I'd had some outstanding matches. Something about Battlefield 3, I was a little bit more proficient. I was a better player. There's that guy camping in the swamp over there. This is where I start head glitching. I know they're going to keep spawning over here in this back half of the map. I'm just going to use this wall as cover, and I'm going to peek just as enough where I can take some shots, try to headshot a couple guys. But, you know, this particular game, I do pretty well in Team Deathmatch. You know how it is. You get, you get hot, you're on a roll, you have a couple good matches, and then you have some that are not so good. But I'll tell you, I'm usually in the top three. So what I like to do is I try to find who's the top guy on their team, and I'll admit, I try to single them out, because usually if I am getting killed, it's that guy that's getting those three or four kills on me. So if I can eliminate him, maybe piss him off a little bit, rattle his game, then maybe I can beat him. So that's what I'm trying to do is beat Ghost Sniper here. I don't think that's him. It's Gorilla Hothead, whatever his name is. I think what's-his-face, the sniper I'm looking for, is still over in that big building. And when I realize that the round is going to start running out of time, eventually I'm going to make my way over there and try to make him a little sandwich here and uh, put him in the ground. So I'm back to my little wall position here. I'm like, is this guy in the swamp again? Let's go see. Yes, he is. So I lose sight of him. He's like literally hiding in the swamp. Freaking bushwicky over here. And I get the kill. I'm like, does he have a spawn beacon now? How does this guy keep ending up in that swamp grass over there? Like, what is his deal? Anyway, start looking around. I see the spawn beacon out of the corner of my eye on the left. There's also another one on top of the building where I think our friend Ghost Sniper's at. So I'm going to try to work my way over there in just a moment here. And see if we can take him out. My team's taking fire from the front. I'm trying to use them as a little bit of a distraction. I don't want to open fire and give my position away since I'm not using a silencer unless I absolutely have to. I'm clearing stuff. I don't see anybody. There he is. He's hiding behind the door. But that's not him. That's not Ghost Sniper. So we're still looking for him. Is he up here? Is he up here? 
like, no, but here's a spawn beacon. So let's take that out. And I'm pissed. I'm like, where is this little cheesy dude? I know he's around here. That might have been him that dude took out. I realized, you know what? I'm almost out of primary ammo. So I had five bullets left, I think, if you'd notice. So I'm like, hey, I need some ammo, guys. What's up? I'm getting kills for you. I need some ammo. I'm down to the deagle here. I suck with the thing. I can't get a kill to save my life. Look at this spam firing it. Boom, boom, boom. I can't hit shit with this thing. It takes up like half my screen. I'm like, I'll shoot the glass. You know what? Go through here. I'm like, I need some ammo because if somebody catches me with this freaking thing in my hand, I'm a dead man. And here's where that's about to happen. So I'm running. Little med pack. The med packs don't work quite like they used to. I used to do that all the time where you throw it down, run through it, and you get some health. Not so much anymore. So I take this guy out, get his LMG, or a shotgun rather, I'm sorry. I'm loading it up. I'm like, you know what? I hear the music playing. This round's about to be over. If I can find freaking Ghost Sniper here, I'm gonna put some shit on him. There's one little kill with that. I get taken out. 24 and 7. Notice he's 24 and 4. So, uh, technically, I think Ghost Sniper's gonna get me in this round at the very end here. But the music's playing. You can see there's about 5 kills left till it's over. I'm like, let me see if I can find this guy. I can certainly get one more kill. Is that him? It's, I'm thinking this has got to be him. He's he's missing. I'm missing too. I got the deagle out. Dude steals my kill. Can you believe it? I, mean, I can't blame the guy, but I wanted that. I think that was Ghost Sniper right there at the end. Anyway, no way of knowing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be posting more Battlefield Team Deathmatch gameplay soon, so take a look out for that. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and a like. Any of your support is much appreciated. And thank you very much for watching. This is Dog's Life, and I'll see you in the next video.